stop and ask yourself the question, how do I breathe? It's something we do unconsciously every single day, but are you aware of the full breath and what muscles are incorporated in that full breath? Each stage of that full breath and how we can access the full capacity of our lungs. Watch this video to learn about the anatomy of the full breath, what breathing muscles we should be using to access the full capacity of our lungs, maximize the efficiency and potential of the breath. This will improve our cognition, our physical performance, and also the level of emotional regulation. Adam from Ananda here. Welcome to part two of this four part Breathe Better series in which we learn the basics of the breath to unlock and tap into our innate state of being, which is bliss, our full potential. So let's just take a minute to check in with our breath. Notice how it flows. Starting off with just an upright spine in a seated position. Check in with your breath, closing your mouth and inhaling through the nose. And just notice how that breath flows into your body and where it goes. Is it going into your chest? Do you feel any movements in your rib cage or belly as you breathe? Don't try and control the breath, just witness and do a bit of a breath order. Just to notice how your breath flows naturally right now. There's three stages to a full breath. Stage one is the diaphragmatic breath. The diaphragmatic breath refers to a breathing muscle, which is the core of any respiratory system is based on this breathing muscle. The diaphragm is a thin sheet of muscle that sits in behind the base of the rib cage at the bottom here. And as we inhale, this diaphragm contracts, contracts downwards, which pushes our belly slightly outwards. So take a moment to connect with your belly. Inhale to fill your belly slightly. Exhale, feel it fall back in towards your spine. And just notice how that feels. No break in between the inhale or the exhale. And just feel that breath flow from inhale to exhale. The second stage of this full breath is the thoracic breath. So this refers to the breath that moves through our rib cage in the middle of our torso. As we inhale, not only our belly expands, but also the rib cage. So we feel a 360 degree global expansion of that rib cage, front to back and also side to side. Not hunching our shoulders or raising them up, feeling that expansion out to the sides of our body. We'll begin with an exhale together all the way out. Inhale, belly, and then into the rib cage. And just let go and flow from breath to breath. Expanding belly, rib cage, and feeling a little bit more expansion on each breath. Part three is the clavicular breath, where we breathe from the belly through the rib cage up into the top of the chest. It's just like a stretch, so with the first rep, you might not be able to reach the top of your chest. With each rep comes a little bit more space. So we'll start off together, erect spine, Full exhale all the way out. Inhale, belly, rib cage, chest. Notice how you're not hunching your shoulders, you're just breathing into that top part of the chest. Allowing that breath to flow like a wave from the base all the way to the top. With each rip, just finding a little bit more flow a little bit more spaciousness. By allowing this full breath to become the automatic way that we breathe, we're gonna optimize gas exchange, which means we require less effort per breath for an increased benefit. We're gonna increase our lung capacity. We're gonna increase our carbon dioxide tolerance. We're gonna increase heart rate variability and measure of fitness and wellness. We're gonna improve our cognition. We're gonna improve our physical performance and also emotional regulation measured by the regulation of our autonomic nervous system. So the benefits are numerous. This is basic, this is fundamental, and this is a core way of accessing that innate state of being that we all do, which is our bliss. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, share, 
And as always, stay blessed. Stay positive.